Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jody. Um, hope y'all had a wonderful holiday. I'm Joey. Y'all made a offer on our property on 240 Wall Raven Way. First off, Jimmy, thank you so much for working so hard to bring us such a great buyer. And Jody, thank you so much for the offer. It, it really feels like a fair offer. We just have a, a couple things to, to voice on concern. Otherwise, I'd have been delighted to, to sign it right away. Um, but the concerns that we have have to do with the proof of funds. Um, we're, we're looking at the proof of funds, and it has some words in it that don't necessarily sound definite, I guess is the right way to put it. Um, and I don't know a whole lot about court, but I know a lot of times whenever you're trying to get funds out of court, oftentimes uh, uh, things take longer than everybody anticipates. And uh, we got the holidays going on. That's probably going to make things go longer, too. And so I just, that, that's a little bit of a concern. We got words like, um, if approved in there. And we anticipate approval by the workers' board and in the near future. So all those things don't have a, a definiteness about them there or a time factor on it. And I worry that that's going to mess up our contract because our contract is a definite time. Um, so what I'd like to ask and to be able to add to the to the offer is this first off um let's give y'all a little bit more time let's take out the seven days unilateral uh, extension and just go ahead and add that in so instead of on january 31st closing let's close on february 7th that that gives y'all some more time now uh what what we need help with is pretty simple whenever we do a house like this we have we get an interest only loan that has a super high payment on it. Like on this house, it's five hundred ninety five dollars and eighty three cents a month, and that coupled with you know holding costs, insurance, all the things that are involved with like keeping the power on, making sure nobody's breaking in the house, those things add up, and you know they start eating away at us. And so if uh, for whatever reason the the court doesn't come through on time and the and the contract has to get canceled. We're at six hundred dollars a month in interest, and if it, you know, best case scenario on another offer with uh, financing, forty-five days is where we're going to be at. That's almost three months. So three times six hundred is eighteen hundred dollars. It's almost two thousand dollars we lost. Um, it makes us a little uncomfortable. So what I what I'd really like to see if you can do is help us out with that interest payment. If for whatever reason after February 7th, if you need to extend because we're still waiting on the court to bring the funds through, can you pay my interest payment for me? Um, it's $595.83. The way we can do it is just add it to the price of the house. So it'd be $79,500, let's just say $600, make life easy. And uh, just throw that in on the price if we have to extend it. Um, if for whatever reason we can't come through with it on after the extension, we'll just do this. We'll take that six hundred dollars out of the earnest money and then return the rest of it um, but if you could do that that would make us feel very confident it would really help us out and uh, we'd, we'd be delighted just to, to sign that contract today if you're agreeable to that we can move forward um, we'll get it into special stipulations have it signed today and we're good to go um, if y'all need to get in touch with me my number six seven eight nine eight six six eight one three I'd be happy to talk to you if you want to call Justin, y'all know Justin's number. He'll get in touch with me, too. I just know a lot of times he says he wants to cut out the middleman. But either way, y'all think about it. Let me know what you come up with, and I look forward to hearing from you. Y'all have a great day.